Hello and welcome. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can work with customize by using Helm chats. So either using privately built Helm chats that we have either stored locally or maybe in a remote repository or maybe open source Helm chats. So one tool you need to have installed to work with customize on Helm locally is the Helm package manager or the Helm CLI. So the first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and install the Helm CLI our command line tool. And then afterwards, we can see how we can work with customize with Helm. So let's get into it. Now, here I have the source code repository cloned locally. If you do not have that, please go ahead and clone that. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. Now, in India, you see I have using chats directory, which contains code that we're going to be using in this video. And in here, you see the similar structure that we've had to previous videos. We have a base and our deploy directory. And we have this new generators as well but if you take a look at the deploy directory we just have a customization file and a namespace now the namespace here we have a database we're creating two namespaces one for a database and one for monitoring and that's because we're going to be installing two separate home chats okay so before we go into the details of how you use home chats locally or using your customization file let's first confirm that we have the helm package manager installed okay so the first thing we're going to do is to install helm and if you're on a mac the easiest way to install helm is using homebrew so just do a brew install helm so i already have helm installed locally so this should just work for me but go ahead and do a brew install helm if you don't have helm installed that should set up download the helm package manager for you and have that locally running on your computer now if i do a helm version as you'll see that I have Helm installed now. Okay, so now I'm ready to work with Helm and customize locally. Now, if you're not on a Mac, you can go ahead to the Helm installation page. I'm going to leave a link as well here. Here you can find instructions on how to install the Helm light on your respective operating system. So if you're on a Mac, which is what we just did. If you're on Windows, there's steps and other operating systems here as well. Okay, now that we have Helm installed, we're ready to roll. So the other thing you're going to need to know to work with Helm locally is you need to enable Helm, which is the hyphen hyphen enable Helm flag. Now, when you run customize without using this flag and you have Helm chats in your customization file, it's going to fail because customize by default doesn't know how to interpret or work with Helm chats. Okay, so this flag tells customize that you have Helm chats that you will like that you would like to be inflated once customization runs, okay? So the first way you work with Helm Chats is using the Helm Chats convenience key in your customization file. Now having this field in your customization file tells Customize that you have Helm Chats which you want to be inflated and you need them pulled into the output of your Customize hydration file. So in our case here, we have our customization file, which is saying we want to add a prefix of Helm to our resources. And we have here in our namespace file, like we saw earlier, we're creating two namespaces, a database and a monitoring namespace. And you see while we're doing that in a, in a few seconds. So here we don't need MySQL because we're going to be installing MySQL using the Helm chat. Okay. So we're going to install MySQL using the Helm chat that we're going to be pulling from this Helm chat repository. So that's why we've turned off MySQL there and our base just installs WordPress. We don't really need it. So I'm just commenting that out as well. So we have a clean slate to work with in this video. And then namespace is where we're adding our namespaces, which is our database and our monitoring namespace. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at what we have under the Helm chat key. So working with Helm chats, you need to provide a name of the chat that you want to be inflated. And in this case, we're calling on the Helm chat MySQL. And this Helm chat is going to be pulled from this Helm chat repository. Now, most of the Helm chats we're going to be working with in this video, you can get them going to the Artifact Hub, going to the Artifact Hub, the IO. So Artifact Hub is a cloud native foundations project where you can find and install Kubernetes packages. So we're going to be installing MySQL. Okay. Using the home chat and we're going to be installing the one from Bitnami. 
so you can go ahead and click on that now that's how we get the repo okay that we have in our helm chats directory this is how i know the helm chats coming from this repository okay so what i've done here is set the repo to that for the helm chat as the source for my helm chat and the name of the chat that i want is mysql now here i'm specifying the version of the chat i want to install which is 9.4.0 and you can get that directly from the helm chats repository there are different versions here you can choose which version you want to get installed okay now release name is the name for the release which is the package i'm trying to install that's going to be used so i'm setting that to mysql demo and then namespace i'm telling customize to install this helm chat in the database namespace now you see why we created a database namespace now there are a few other fields we can add in there which is the chat home the, the chat home just tells customize the local directory where our chats are stored and this is only used if you're installing chats that are stored locally on your computer but if you're pulling chats from a remote chats repository like we're doing in our case and we don't need the chat home and the config home we can set the config home, but by default, it goes to slash helm directory, which is good for our case. Now you can specify a values file, but by default, customize assumes that our helm chart values file is stored in the slash values, the YAML file within the helm chart directory. Okay. And we can specify our helm chart values inline as well using the CLI by enabling values inline. Now, if your Helm chat includes a custom resource definition, you have to enable this in here. That's the include CRDs. If you don't do that, then customize wouldn't install custom resource definitions in your Helm chat. Okay, in my case, the MySQL Helm chat I'm trying to install doesn't have a CRD, so I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, and then similarly for Prometheus as well, I want to install Prometheus in my monitoring namespace and I'm pulling from this Helm chat's repository. Similar to what we've done for MySQL, if you go in here and you do a search for Prometheus, you can install the Prometheus Helm chat, which is what I've done here, is just get the Prometheus repository and add that in here as well. Now, something that happens by default is that Customize assumes that the chats directory is the slash chat subdirectory of your repository. So in my case, I didn't specify chat home in here, because I know that this chat I'm trying to install is stored in the slash chat directory of the chat repository. Now, how do I know that? I can go over here and go to the Prometheus. Let's use Prometheus as an example. Now, this is the Prometheus GitHub repository. You see, I have a slash chat subdirectory in here that contains all the chats that customize will be installing to set up Prometheus. Okay, so if you have your chats in a different directory, then you need to make sure that you specify where the chat home is. Otherwise, customize is just going to assume that it's in the slash chats subdirectory. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and run a customized build and see what this gives us. First, make sure you've navigated into the correct directory. Just copy the path and paste in here to be sure we're in the right place. Now, if we do a customize build in there, we're going to pipe the results out into deploy.yaml. This should fail. Okay, just like we expected. You can see it's saying error, trouble, configuring built in Helm chats, inflation generator with config. Because customize doesn't understand how to work with Helm chats if we don't tell it. So we need to provide the flag enable Helm. Now, this should work now, and we should have our customization file hydrated. Now, it looks like that worked. If we look at our deploy directory, we have a new deploy YAML file in here. And just like we expected, you can see our namespace resources are created, and then we have our MySQL process in here from our chat. As you can see, all the labels from Helm added in here correctly and we should have some for Prometheus as well okay yes we can see the Prometheus cluster rules and all the other resources get provisioned as well just like we expected now something else that just happened when you pull from a remote Helm chat repository is what happens is customized downloads those Helm chats locally into your local uh, chats directory now, if you take a look at the left here, you see we now have a slash chat directory that was just created for us. 
And if we expand that, you can see we have our MySQL and our Prometheus chats now in here locally. Okay. And you can see the values the YAML file I was talking about. It assumes that it's in your default chat directory. If this was in a different file, then we'll need to specify the values file in here for that to work. So customize downloads those chats locally here for us. Now with this done, we don't even need to pull directly from our remote repository anymore. What if we want to make some changes to the chats locally? We can just go ahead and make those changes in here. And then we can even turn off the repo and the version. Since we have the chats locally now, we can comment out these two values and our chats should still work. And why should that work? Because customize uses the slash chats directory to see directory as the home for your chats. Now, something else you can do is to provide the chats home using home, the home globals convenience key in here. Now the default, like I said, is slash chats, but if you want to change that, you can change that as well. So first of all, let's go ahead and run a customized build just to confirm that our helm chats are still getting inflated correctly. Even we are no longer using the remote helm chats repository. Okay. So I've commented those out as you can see. Now let's do a customized build again and that should still work. Okay. So customized build without a remote repository. Deploy the YAML was created and we still have our, all our resources in here because Helm now uses the local chats directory that we have in here. Okay. So that works just like we expected. And now let's change this. Okay. Let's rename the home for our chats from slash chats to let's call this chat store. Okay. Just to confirm that the assumption that customize makes that our chats and slash chats actually works. So now I'm telling Helm that my chat home is in slash chats, but that's not so correct anymore because I have renamed that directory to chat store. So if I run a customized build again, I expect that to fail. So I'm just going to delete the deploy file temporarily for now and do a customized build again. Okay. So just like we expected now, it says no repo specified for pull, no chat found because it can't find the chats directory. So we need to point it to the correct source for our chats, which is the chat store. And if we do a build again, this time it should work. Like we expected, we have a deploy file now with all of the files in there, like expected. So that's basically how you can work with home chats locally using customize. Now, something else you can do is to use the generators field. So you remember in customize, you can use transformers and generators for almost everything that's available in the convenience field. And in this case it's not an exception. So just like we use Helm chats in here, we can decide instead that we want to work with generators and use a Helm chats inflation generator and specify our Helm chats in here. Now I don't really see any advantage to doing this besides that's much better than just using the convenience key in here. This allows us to specify multiple chats as well. And every key in here is also supported in the generators field in here. So I think for now, I'm going to recommend you just use the home chats convenience key since it works and it's convenient for almost everything you need to do. Okay. So with that, we're going to go ahead and apply customization or deploy file to our cluster. And just to confirm that everything works as expected. So we are creating two namespaces and deploying our resources in there. So we're going to do now, if you don't have your cluster running, go ahead and confirm you have your cluster running. I still have my K3D cluster in here. Okay. And I don't have those namespaces created. Now we can do it directly by rerunning hydration on our customization file. And we'll just do that. So I'll delete to deploy the YAML file and we'll just do a customize build dot again and this time we want to enable helm okay and we're piping the output to deploy the yaml file and i can decide that i want to just apply that to my cluster and i'll just put in a hyphen in there so this is telling customized to generate all the YAML files and pipe that output into the kubectl apply f command. 
like so and we can see everything is getting created so created created now let's do cube cuttle get pods and first of all let's see if our namespaces were created okay yeah we have a database and a monitoring namespace now let's take a look at the pods in our database we shall have one pod okay so you can see we have a mysql pod starting up and let's take a look at the pods in our monitoring namespace as well okay as you can see we have our helm prometheus pods a good number of them already running and a few are still getting set up now this eats a lot of resources the default prometheus helm chat comes with node exporter and a few other chats as well getting installed in here so it's kind of heavy so this is one other reason why you may want to set up and edit your chats locally before you apply them to your cluster okay so but for now i don't need all of those resources so i'm just gonna delete them delete f i'm just gonna pipe in the de deploy the ml file i generated okay and delete those resources because i really do not need them okay so that clears up my cluster for me now that's how you work with helm chats locally using customize if you have any questions please let me know and i'll be sure to answer your questions one last thing before i go customize has very limited support for helm chats there's a link in here that i've left which is to a conversation about what the customized themes plan is for helm chats in the long run and to summarize what all of that is for you is that customize do not intend to continually support all the features that are available in helm right so all they're doing is actually rebuilding the helm inflator or the helm supports that's available in customize because there's a lot of limitations to it so you can go ahead and read all of this information and understand what's the state of helm is with customize and all the changes that's coming okay but in short terms too long then to read is that not all features of helm is supported and customized and the customized team do not intend to support all of those features in the near future so just the basics that's needed to work with helm and customize and honestly i think that is good enough if you need more additional functionalities then maybe you should just go use helm directly instead of customize but i think uh customize works great for what it does and i always recommend you use customize whatever you really want to do in helm i believe you can do that in customize you just need to have a good your layout for your customization workflow okay so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye